I'm standing on an escarpment, a very steep incline, a cliff, here in Okinawa, Japan. A very ferocious battle took place here. It was chaotic. It was an absolutely terrible nightmare. And yet, God prevailed in a very marked and special way. But before I tell you about that story, let me just tell you about someone who was involved in this particular battle. His name was Desmond Doss, a Seventh-day Adventist who refused to bear arms and yet wanted to help his country. Not to take life, but to save life. Because of his biblical and religious convictions, he absolutely would not carry a gun would not practice a gun, wouldn't even carry a sidearm for his own self-protection. He absolutely refused to take life. He wanted to be a medic and help people. His life in the military was not easy because they were trying to get rid of him. They didn't know what to do with him. Uh, he was a real man of prayer. He would pray at night in the barracks and soldiers would throw their boots at him and officers tried to get rid of him out of the service. You see, Desmond finally did stay in the military and was shipped out to the Asia area. After a number of battles, he finally ended up in this place in Okinawa. A terrible and ferocious battle was taking place as the American troops were fighting uh, the enemy. As they came to a particular hill, it's about the second or third highest point on this island, the American forces sent one wave of soldiers in and they were absolutely decimated. They sent another wave in. And of course, those soldiers were pinned down by gunfire and hundreds of soldiers lost their lives right up here on this flat part. During that battle, he spent his night saving the lives of about 75 soldiers. Now, I need to help you understand that Desmond Doss also was very solicitous and helpful for the enemy soldiers as well. He wanted to save life. That was his mission in life. As he spent the night crawling from one person to the next, those who were wounded, trying to help them, he began to pull them across this field and down to the escarpment. Earlier in his experience in the military, he had discovered a particular way of tying knots. And when he would tie those knots in a particular manner, he then was able to put the legs of the wounded soldiers into those particular loops in the rope and lower them down person after person after person. About 75 people he saved that night. Later, because of the ferocious battle that was taking place, the troops asked that Desmond pray for them. God used Desmond Doss to save so many individuals. And God can use you and me to save people also. It doesn't matter what walk of life we're, we're from or what capability we have. And it doesn't matter whether those individuals who need to be saved don't agree with you on certain things. Desmond Doss was wanting to save anybody, his own fellow soldiers and the enemy as well. God will use you to help save people as you reach out and use your talents to help others. I hope that God will speak to your heart through this experience and through the other experiences that you have heard and help you to know God needs you in this great Advent movement to reach people and point them to Jesus and his soon second coming. I just want to have a prayer with you. Our Father in heaven, we come to you on the top of this escarpment, this hill where there was so much ferocious fighting and now it's peaceful. We want to thank you for the way in which you lead in our lives and how you led in the life of Desmond Doss, helping to save so many people. 
Lord, we connect our hands with you. We ask that you will use our skills and our talents to cooperate with heaven in this great venture of helping to save people for Jesus soon coming. We're thankful for the grace of Jesus that provides us with eternal life. And now, Lord, as uh, we have seen in many different instances how you have taken terrible situations, the ashes of catastrophes, and helped things to be reborn, we ask that you will help us to commit our lives into helping people to be reborn in you. Thank you for hearing us, and thank you for the promise of your soon second coming. In Jesus' precious name we ask it. Amen. Thank you for being with us. We look forward to having you back in our next segment.